Aloha everyone, welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routines. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. I don't think anyone requested this video, TBH. I just wanna do it. Kehlani recently uploaded her skincare routine and I just have to react to it, I don't know. I have yet to see one request roll in, well, except for my manager, but she doesn't count. Don't tell her I said that. But her skincare routine video has been popping off. And usually when I see a Vogue skincare routine getting a lot of views, it's either really good or really bad. So I honestly don't know what to expect, but Kehlani's gorgeous. Her skin is so freaking beautiful. So yeah, I just feel like doing it, Fuck it. And I love her music. Cause I already got a good thing for me. Trying to whip my hair. Who knows if this quarantine keeps up and I still can't get a haircut, I may have hair long enough to whip. So let's get into it. If you don't know me, I am a skincare specialist. That is the official title of my position at the skincare company that I work for. I am not, however, a licensed esthetician or a dermatologist, nor do I ever, ever, ever claim to be one or know more than either of them. If you do have any concerns about your skincare routine, please go see your esthetician or dermatologist to get that shit treated. This is all just for fun and information's sake. Oh, nights like this for me. Does anyone even know what she says in that part? <laughs> Hi, this is Kehlani and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skin routine and my very basic everyday glowy face. Ooh, so the basic. first step, okay. it's a creamy cleanser. Um, I like this a lot because I have really, really dry skin. So I kind of need something that's like hydrating and doesn't leave me feeling all tight and gross. Little circles, you know, you know the vibes. All right. Oh wow, she's going through this fast. I like it. This is what I like to see. So she first goes in with a creamy cleanser. I don't know that brand and I'm not able to get a close look at the logo. But in terms of general, in terms of general, what the f does that even mean? As you can tell, grammar was my best subject. In general, most creamy cleansers I am a fan of. The primary concern that I have when it comes to cleansing is cleansers that are gonna be overly stripping or have really harsh actives. And pretty much every creamy cleanser I've ever come across is very gentle on the skin and won't really risk those two factors. When it comes to creamy cleansers, it really just depends on what your skin likes and what it doesn't like. I personally hate creamy cleansers for my skin because I have combination of oily skin so it's not gonna do jack shit for my excess sebum and oil. But for someone like her who has dry skin and doesn't want to cleanse too deeply, I think it's a great option. And I am glad that she is aware of not overly stripping her skin because sometimes people with dry skin, when they cleanse and use a really harsh cleanser, they're like, oh, my skin feels tight, which means it really worked. And baby, that is wrong. You wanna make sure your cleanser doesn't overly strip your skin and a creamy cleanser is a good way of not doing that. I use this toner from Belief. Mm. So, so <laughs> you know, Belief was actually very nice to me. They wanted to sponsor me to talk about that toner, but I had to decline because it just has a high concentration of ingredients I don't like, if I remember right. Denatured alcohol and fragrance and essential oils. Uh, yeah, so the third ingredient is denatured alcohol. The second ingredient is glycerin, so it's not too, too stripping like your typical old-fashioned Clinique toners, but it still is overly stripping for me to feel comfortable with, and I would never recommend a toner like that to someone with dry skin. Because if someone has dry skin, you don't want to introduce a high concentration of denatured alcohol, which can over really strip the skin. Now I understand denatured alcohol has its purposes. It helps ingredients penetrate deeply into the skin, but there's other ingredients that will do that just as well without overly stripping the skin. So I'm not a fan of this product. I think a good substitute would just be any good hydrating essence or toner. But like I talk about in my channel, I don't really feel that toner or essence is necessary. It can be fun to use. Yes, it can feel luxurious, but it's not necessary to a skincare routine because that just means that your moisturizer is not hydrating your face enough. And when it has irritating ingredients like this, all the more reason to cut it out of your routine and just find a really bomb moisturizer. But looking at the ingredient list of this one, one of the primary ingredients is Avena Sativa Kernel Extract, which is oat extract, which is amazing for dry skin, for reducing sensitivity and irritation. And a great alternative to this would be the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oat Toner. It has a high concentration of that ingredient without any fragrance or irritating components. That would be a much better alternative. I have dry skin and I have to make sure that I continuously, like in between each step, I just keep layering hydration. So my third step is just this like aqua bomb mist from Belief. Just a quick little like spray. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, when it comes to facial mist, I honestly just have the same exact opinion as toners. I don't think they're necessary. They can be nice. They can feel luxurious. But again, a lot of these are just signs your serum or moisturizer isn't hydrating enough. And the facial mist ingredient list is very similar to the toner. So I just, I don't know. 
I don't recommend it. That's one thing that particularly annoys me about a lot of facial mist though, is that I see that there'll be like hydrating formulas for really dry skin, advertised really moisturize the face, and then you look at the top ingredients and one of them is denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol is not going to help people who have dry skin. And even though it is a delivery agent, it really makes me wonder like what companies are trying to achieve. Are they really trying to hydrate people's skin or are they trying to like continuously strip the skin to make people apply even more product going through it faster? Feeling that instant gratification of moisture, but in the long term, it's stripping the skin even more and more of hydration, pushing the customer to purchase even more mist. You get what I'm saying? I'm not too conspiracy theory over here. I don't know. That is a critique I have of a lot of facial mist where I'm just like, your formula seems a little sneaky. Dr. Dennis Gross, this stuff is great. I use this morning, night, all of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna... So I'm looking up the ingredients right now, but out of all the Dr. Dennis Gross products, I believe that was one of my favorite products from the brand, but let me see. Okay, wow, so this ingredient list has a lot of really good ingredients. It has, you know, glycerin, it has a bunch of root extracts that are good antioxidants. It has hyaluronic acid, linoleic acid, centella asiatica, which is great for soothing redness and sensitivity, cucumber, collagen, glycolic acid, lactic acid, a lot of really good ingredients. The only thing I don't like about it is that it does have fragrance, and also it's 68 dollars, which is kind of on the higher side. For Dr. Gunnis Gross, that's not terrible. Actually, a lot of his products can go over hundred dollars and I'm like, oh girl, who do you think I am? But I say everything about this ingredient list is good except for fragrance. And if the majority of her products were fragrance free, I'd be like, yeah, that's totally fine. But she's already applied two different products that have fragrance on her face. So she's getting really close to the risky area of potential long-term fragrance irritation. I'm gonna lock all that in with an essence and mine is a oh. essence. I know that probably sounds funny. This is like a major key in Korean skincare. Yes. I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but I just <laughs> call it the snail stuff. So I just take a couple drops, just like this. He gets really slimy. Okay, so that essence is my favorite product from CauseRx. Uh, CauseRx is one of those brands that I wanted to love so much. And then when I started trying a lot of the products, I was like, uh, it's like hit or miss. Some of them work, some of them don't. But that product is amazing from them. I love that essence. If you have not yet tried snail mucin and you have dry skin, bitch, get a grip because it's amazeballs. Snail mucin is incredible for the skin. It plumps it, hydrates it. It feels amazing. That one is a little bit heavier though, which is why I only use it at nighttime because I'm combo oily skin. But for anyone who has dry skin, highly, highly recommend it. And it's fragrance free. Oh, by the way, all the products that she uses and the recommendations that I mentioned are going to be listed in the description box below. If you do feel like purchasing anything, feel free to use those links. I make a small commission that helps to support me and my channel, but no pressure whatsoever as always. They're just there for your reference. Do what you want. What you want with my body, do what you want. Oh, sorry, <laughs> the gay is coming out. So my favorite is the Polish Choice Omega Complex. <gasps> oh my God. Though, which is a big like barrier healer. Yes. Problems with my skin barrier. And then I take my Ooh, bio essence, okay. vitamin C, like oh my rose God. oil. So I'm gonna take like three little droplets of that and put it in my moisturizer because I'm super dry. Look at her, she is educated about skincare. Okay, those products, the only people I know who use them are like true skincare junkies, like people who know their shit about skincare. I love the Paula's Choice Barrier Repair line. That specific moisturizer I've used, I've used the other products from them. I think they're really good, primarily for people with dry skin. I only liked using them when I was traveling in the mainland where my skin gets super fucking dry and they worked really well, but I love Paula's Choice. Definitely a brand that aligns with my personal philosophy on skincare. And then she goes in with the Biosance oil. Now you guys know I love Biosance. That specific oil, it does have like one or two fragrant components and essential oils, which I'm not a fan of, but overall I do think the ingredient list is really good because it's hydrating. And I definitely think the way that she used it, mixing it in with her moisturizer is really good. There's this belief that you have to apply your oil after your moisturizer, it's gonna impede the moisturizing benefits or it needs to be a seal. I, I don't agree whatsoever. I think oil can fit into a skincare routine whenever. And for people with dry skin, I always specifically recommend mixing it in with your moisturizer for it to be really beneficial. And then what she was saying about repairing her moisture barrier. I literally talk about that stuff all the time. When people say words and terms like that in their skincare routines, I'm like, oh, she knows something. And you know what? I love to see it. I started breaking out here, 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 and here, and here when I was pregnant. And oh, wow. um, so I had to use something that would balance my hormones. So I actually had to get an entire new set of a skin routine because I was just freaking out everywhere. And then after I had my baby, I feel like my skin just got a lot more dry and I think it's just mm -hmm. now bouncing back and getting back in the swing of things and, you know, but I'm hydrating a lot more just internally and 
doing a lot of hydrating, sleeping masks. So those are also a big secret and tip. Okay, <laughs> so my last step is SPF. Yes, oh my God. Okay, that's it for my skincare. So I'm gonna walk you through. That was so good, oh my God. Okay, she goes in with a Paula's Choice sunscreen. I actually started using that one a few weeks ago. I have to say, I really like it. I really, really, really like it. I know it's a best-selling product. And I was like, I don't know. It looks like it'd leave a really severe tint behind. Girl, it doesn't, it's so good. But I'm also so glad to see that she went in with sunscreen. Sometimes, and it just depends on the person, people with deeper skin tones have been told that they don't need to use sunscreen, which is completely false. Sunscreen needs to be worn by everyone because even though you may not burn, and you still get that UVA damage, honey. You're gonna age fast as fuck, which is why I always recommend a sunscreen. And I am still to this day shocked by how many celebrities, makeup artists, YouTubers will do a full skincare routine with so many products and not do sunscreen at the end. I know I say this all the time, but this shit keeps happening. And I'm like, whoa, that's the most important part. But she went in with a really good sunscreen at the end. I'm a little shocked at how short that was. <laughs> I saw the video and it was like 17 minutes long. So I expected for her to linger on each of the products for a long time, but on the contrary, she's just like, boom, boom, boom. Rapid fire and to the point. I should really take notes from her. <laughs> Says the person that spends five minutes talking about fragrance. I was about to say, wow, this is like the shortest skincare routine I think I've ever reacted to. But I actually think I just don't have much to correct <laughs> because somehow I managed to react to one single TikTok skincare routine and make a 20 minute video out of it. I'm so talented. <laughs> But no, as far as my overall thoughts on the routine, I like the cleansing system that she goes in with, making sure she's not overly stripping her skin. I like her essence, so, so good and great for people with dry skin. She goes in with an amazing moisturizer and a good oil, definitely going to be moisturizing enough for her face and then follows up with an incredible sunscreen at the end. The only thing that I would say I don't like about the routine is the two belief products, the toner and the mist. Not only do I feel that those steps aren't necessary, they have a high concentration of denatured alcohol. Just leaving those two steps out, I think the routine would have been perfect or at the very least, finding a toner that doesn't have denatured alcohol, like the first day beauty one would have been just fine. Nothing more necessary. I really liked this routine. Oh my gosh. And I'm really impressed with how much Kehlani knows about skin. I mean, she said that she was going through skin struggles when she was pregnant. And oftentimes when it comes to skincare, we don't start learning about it until our skin is really going through it. I mean, that's how I started. Hello, premature wrinkles at 18. I needed to get rid of them. So I started investing my time into skincare. And that may have been the same thing with her. I also feel for her though, because I can't even imagine how difficult it is to take care of your skin when you're pregnant. I've considered doing a video about skincare products for when you are pregnant, but I also feel like it'd be really ironic for me to just be like, hi, I'm a young gay male who is never gonna touch pregnancy with a six foot pole, ready to tell you how to deal with it. Does that not seem like a conflict of interest? <laughs> I feel like I get dragged by Mothers of America. But I guess you guys can let me know. What do you guys think of this skincare routine? Comment down below. I wanna hear your thoughts. Have you tried some of these products? What's your favorite Kehlani song? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Selfless. It's focused on empowering you to make a positive difference in the world right now from your phone. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.